Let's talk a little bit about what's all included in the Colonists of Deutschenfeld, the board game. Well, first of all, of course, there's an instruction uh, booklet. This is eight pages, but don't get too overwhelmed by it. Um, only about three or four are actual um, explanations of, of playing the game. The rest of it is uh, some background on uh, the history of this part of the world and these colonists. And then your, uh, your basic uh, primary sources for the game and that sort of thing. There's also a quick reference card that goes with this so that you can, uh, you can quickly look at some basic things as you're playing the game. Now the centerpiece of any, uh, of any game, a board game, is the actual uh, game board itself. And this is the Colonists of Deutschenfeld uh, board game. And as, as you can see, uh, this is uh, this is a village and basically it's the north end of a street village that the Black Sea Germans used to live in and they had individual uh, farmsteads that ran along both sides of a long street sometimes going on for several kilometers and within those farmsteads they had uh, buildings and livestock um, uh, uh, buildings and uh, wells and um, cellars and all sorts of things and this is uh, this is basically presented here in the colonists of of, of Deutschenfeld as a board game. Okay, let's uh, look at some other pieces of it. Uh, there's a couple of pawns that you uh, that you get here as part of the game. You get a couple of dice. You'll notice that the dice match the color of the pawns. We'll get into that in a little bit. You also uh, you get some family uh, score sheets that uh, I'll explain a little bit later. These uh, keep track of your progress in the game. You get uh, land title. You get land title um, cards. And these, uh, these are important because uh, later on you're going to be uh, scored for how many land titles or how much land you purchased for your sons. And that's a very important uh, uh, part of the game. You get, uh, you get rubles. Now uh, these are play money of course. Didn't want to make uh, President Putin angry at me. Uh, you might find these, uh, these bills kind of strange looking because they're square, but actually in the early 1800s, that's exactly what rubles look like. So Laird, the, the designer of this game, um, took, the, took cues from that and basically rebuilt it into some play money. So you get rubles to play with. Um, what else do you get here? Well, quite a bit of stuff. You get, uh, there's a, a deck of... Um, of year cards that uh, I'll explain later that basically cover the last uh, or the the, for the initial 20 years of of the um, of the colony you get colony event cards that uh, are played uh, as well as uh, harvest cards and of course there's stuff on both sides of these I'll talk about that later you get uh, family event cards with the game that's how that plays. You also get um, you also get cattle cards, and these are used to keep track of of the number of heads of cattle that you have that you'll be buying and uh, selling. Uh, you'll be getting uh, providence cards, and these are used to protect yourself against uh, uh, bad things that can happen during the game. Um, I'm blessed to be part of a long heritage of of Christian believers. And these, uh, these people, the Black Sea colonists and my ancestors, were devout uh, Christians. And uh, so it's, uh, yeah, these cards represent their belief in God and, and their dependence on him for protection and, and help. You get, uh, you get some of these uh, translucent markers, and they are basically uh, used to indicate uh, who's playing in the game and on which, which uh, farmstead, but we'll be talking about that later. And then you get, oh, there goes a few on the floor, sorry. You get these, uh, these basic uh, farmstead building pieces. And in some cases, your games will come with translucent discs instead of these pieces. It just depends on how the supply uh, lasts before I have to make that switch. But anyhow, these are used to uh, indicate which part of uh, of your farmstead you have been successful in purchasing so those are just basically markers that we'll we'll talk about in uh, subsequent videos so yeah that's uh, all the pieces in the colonists of deutschenfeld board game 
Uh, you will also get, uh, as part of the package, a front and back title uh, uh, sheet that uh, basically identifies the game. Um, I just wanted you to, to see this picture. Um, you will see this on your game when you get it. However, the newest game will actually be a picture uh, that has been turned into a painting of these people. Now these just aren't any old Black Sea colonists. These are actually my great grandparents and their families on my stickle side. And this picture uh, includes my great grandfather there, great grandmother and his siblings uh, sent to my grandfather here in Canada uh, about 20 years after he left the Black Sea colony. Um, of Alberta and came to Canada in about 1910. So I use them as the uh, sort of the the visual representation of those wonderful people who uh, endured many many things to uh, make that part of Russia the breadbasket of the world. So yeah, that's the pieces that you get in the colonists of Deutschenfeld uh, board game.